Hi, I um, showed you the other day how to catch uh, a Mavic Air and the Mavic Air is um, a lot easier to catch than the um, Mavic Pro for three reasons. One, it's um, almost as if it's designed to be caught and to some degree I think it was. The sensors are right at the back so it gives you your hand, your forefinger to balance it um, space. You can do that, it's quite easy. The second reason is it's very light and it's not, um, and it's well, nice, ba nicely balanced. The Mavic Pro is much heavier and it's also heavier at the back so when you catch it, 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 it um, goes backwards. The third thing is that the, the Mavic Pro is a lot more unstable than this. This thing is incredibly stable and it's a hardware issue. Um, there have been improvements in both of them in their stability, but the hardware sensors on the Mavic Pro are not as good as this. This is rock solid inside and out, apart from the wind. Mavic Pro is not like that. If the Mavic Pro starts to wander inside or outside and you're planning on hand catching, don't do it. It's just, uh, it's just not worth it. Um, okay, so the Mavic Pro, the sensors are not at the back, they're lined up. So your, you, your thumb and third finger are at this base here, in this cavity. And your forefinger is very close to the sensors. So you have to have it almost on the edge, which makes it difficult. So there's three differences, which you've got to be aware of. Uh, I would start with the Mavic Pro, for sure, uh, just playing with it, without it flying, to feel its weight and balance, so that when, it, when you do catch it, you, you're ready for it. Two caveats. Um, safety. You've got to be sure. It's only you and the, the aircraft. You know, you're more important. If you get slashed, that's fine. It's not fine, but it's going to repair. If it gets in your eyes, it's not good. I wear reinforced glasses. If I didn't have to, I would probably get safety glasses. You can get them from a hardware shop for a few dollars and they're um, reinforced very strong. Okay, let's, uh, let's take off and show you um, how to do it. Okay, we play with it first. Feel its weight in flight. You can't move it, the GPS would prevent you from. Um, if I move my fingers over the uh, centers, it will probably rise. So I'll let it go. Move it back a little bit. Uh, this is where the experience comes in. You, you can't do this as a beginner, really. Don't, don't try it. You know, it's, uh, it's too dangerous. Land on the same side in an open space, away from people, and be it. It will come in time. Everyone will learn how to do it. So bring the cap towards you at about time. Put your hand in the bit. It went up. Take it very slow. Put the two fingers there and the back finger, and you can feel its weight. You sometimes don't even have to lift it very far to take its weight. Now it's immobilized and you can simply pull it back and switch it off. Um, nine times out of ten, I do this without it going up. I'll try it once more. Um, but you will catch the sentence, because it's not designed at all to, um, to be caught. The new Mavic Pro, I suspect strongly, uh, will uh, more easy to answer. Bring it down to speed level. Get your fingers in the Hold it. Raise it. Keep the back. Because it's very heavy at the back. And then switch it off. You'll get used to it in time. And you can safely hand catch. Take care.